Ah, yes, that will do. It's Halloween again. That should scare everybody away. No more trick-or-treaters. Good, so by the time we get back, there should be no egg on the door, and there should be nobody asking for treats. The joys of Halloween. So, we actually have quite a lot to do today. We've got to plough, cultivate and drill, if we can do, our field, because we're going to be putting in OSR, which is oilseed rape, or canola, and uh, yes, it's going to be a very profitable crop for next year, so we should have a, a really good profit, I hope. Um, so yeah, the unfortunate thing is we have to, once again, lease a tractor. Uh, now, because we have the mortgage, it makes it look like we have loads of money, but actually we don't. But we do still have enough money to lease a bigger tractor, because the bigger tractor won't be much bigger than this. In fact, I know that our plough, which is a 4 furrow plough, is only just too big for this. I have had it on here before, and it can pull it, but at 1 mile per hour only, and there is a lot of wheel slip. So it only needs to be probably 20 to 30 horsepower more than that, which is still not going to be a very big tractor. So let's try and uh, lease something, but we need to be very careful with what we do lease due to the money of £100,000 or more going out very soon. Okay then, so they do actually have a tractor in stock. In fact, they've got quite a few. They said just take your pick and we'll give you a price on it. I went for this one here because I didn't want anything too big because it would be very expensive. And they've said just over £1,500 for this for an hour. But that's all right because uh, I don't think it's going to take much more than an hour since we only need to use this tractor for the plowing. Our tractor can do the cultivating or the drilling. Depends what we do. We might just direct drill it um, after doing the plowing. So... Um, yes, this should be good enough, I hope. So we have pretty much now, I don't think the timing is exactly, so it shouldn't be a, a massive problem if we overrun by a few minutes, but I'll try not to, that's the thing. And I have actually got an update on the house which we've purchased. I can't see a thing. While we wait for the traffic, I'll just explain. Basically, Gary is moving out tomorrow, um, so we're going to say goodbye to him. I think he's actually moving quite a long way away now. Okay, something has just caught my attention here. Something highly amusing. It would appear that our good friend over here has set up some kind of pumpkin fortress. What is this joke? Touch thee and you will see. What is this, Old English? Ah, touch my pumpkin. How odd. So his customers have got to navigate through a wall of pumpkins and some pathetically set up sign just to get a pint. Unbelievable. Touch the and <laughs> He's crazy. He's absolutely crazy. Touch what anyway? That or that sign? Who would want to touch the sign? Touch his pumpkin very quietly. Okay, that's weird. Okay. That's kind of weird. He must have set up some kind of sound effects. Okay, where are the speakers? I've just... <laughs> amusingly rolled one of his pumpkins into his car park. Let's run away. And that's kind of weird. He is probably the least likely person who is going to be celebrating Halloween. You odd character, Dennis. Let's move on. We have work to do. So our plow is actually over here. It's in our field currently. Everything else is over at the house. And yeah, hopefully tomorrow we'll be moving in. We can move all of our stuff across. We're going to have to tidy up the yard. It's going to be quite a big job um, because it's currently filled with a lot of clutter. Uh, you know what? I should probably go this way. We have no work to do for Peter today. He's already emailed us and said that there's absolutely nothing to do. Uh, which is a good thing in a way because we do need to do our own work. So, yeah, it doesn't really bother me too much. Right. Let's open this gate up. Um, yes, we'll probably have to close it again before we enter the other gate. and through the other gate. nothing else it makes it easier right so we're going to be using this very nice but still fairly old Massey Ferguson 600 series back up a bit more there yeah so it's a non-reversible plow this is going to take a little while to do but it doesn't really matter if it takes too long like I say we've got an hour and I think we'll easily do it within an hour because this is quite a big tractor it's something like 88 horsepower which for this plow is huge <laughs> it's more than enough Absolutely fine. Uh, no PTO, obviously. No hydraulics either, actually, because it doesn't even have the... Uh, it's not even reversible. 
So, yeah. Dead easy. And I don't think you can offset it at all. Nope. Nope. So, yep, this is going to be hopefully a nice easy job for us. In our 675. So the same approach as usual. I go up one side, go down the other. And eventually, we obviously finish the job. We'll do the headlands last. It's always much easier doing the headlands last with this plough. Um, so, yep, yeah, nice and easy. What is that? Hang on, it's that pumpkin that I moved earlier. What? How did that get there? That is a mystery. What? <laughs> Somebody must be playing a practical joke. Will you go over there and stop wasting our time? I didn't see anybody. Hmm. Where did that thing... That was actually still moving. I can see it in the wing mirror. Did it fall from the sky? It's the same one, isn't it? It's the one I threw over there. Right, that is staying put. We're going to keep an eye on it and see what it does. That is a mystery. Keep an eye on it. Mustn't let it out of sight. Ugh. Keep an eye on it. Somebody must be running up to it and hurling it or something. I'm watching it. I don't have time for these games. Okay, that's weird. There's no way that anybody put it there. They can't have done. Well, we seem to have done that without too many more problems, although the hour meter on the tractor seems to have gone berserk. It thinks we've been using the tractor for almost six and a half hours, and it's been about 20 minutes, and it's been charged to our account. Okay, that's something we need to bring up with the dealership. Um, yes, we've been very unfairly charged there. How mysterious. Must be something to do with that weird pumpkin. Okay. Right, I'm going to drop the plough off here. It can go over to our new house in the next day or so. 
but obviously at the moment we don't own it, so yes. We need that money back urgently. They've taken so much we can't even afford our house. That's not good. Right, I'm off to the uh, dealership now to sort that out. And I need to go and get my other tractor back. We're going to have to attach the trailer to it. And we need to bring some seed over to that field and then we need to get the seeder as well uh, to drill it. We're going to direct drill it because luckily the soil type here is so light uh, that you can just drill straight into the ploughed field. It's just like dust. Too many weird events happening today, that is for sure. Right, let's try and sort this out. They've apologised and they've refunded us. They didn't know what the problem was with the tractor or why we were even charged in the first place. But yeah, we've got our money back. £102,187. Brilliant. Get lost. Right, one thing is for sure, we're not touching any more of his pumpkins. Let's grab this trailer and let's move on. The thing is, we've got to go back to this store where the seed is. Okay, right. Let's grow up. At least our pumpkin is still there. It's clearly just somebody making a trick. Halloween prank. That's all it is. So I'm going to go for one bag of seed. I think one bag is going to be fine. Um, maybe I can squish it. Yes! Yes! Squish the pumpkin. That will get rid of it. Okay, so there we go. It's one bag. Cost eighty pounds, and yes, we don't need to take it over to the field because I've just realised we can actually refill it just in front of our house here. So, yeah, saves two trips really. So let's reverse this into here. We probably could have just thrown the bag over the wall to be honest, but anyway, it's uh, one way of doing it. Drop it there. There might even be some seed in here from last year, potentially. And we're going to have to really think about um, refueling. Yeah. Okay, so we attached it onto there. Let's go. Let's quickly just throw the bag of seed into there. And we're going to go. This is not normal. I would have seen somebody. If, if somebody was moving it, I would have seen them. I've only got one more thing to do, and that is to check and see if they're all still here. It's missing, and it looks like they've rearranged. I'm sure there's more. Well, here we are back at the field. Let's get this thing drilled. And, yeah, I want to get this done and out of the way before anything more supernatural, that silly talk. Before anything else unexplained happens, I suppose. It must be on a string. It's got to be. Something like that. Right. So yes, what we're putting in here is oilseed rape. And it should be a really good crop, I'm hoping. So I think we'll start over here. Let's go. We might need to refill it. If we do, then that's fine. Um but it should go quite a long way, hopefully. Right, so I've just been having a chat with Peter Wood, and he did say that we can actually use some of his leftover seed. He still wants to be paid for it, we just paid him £125, I think it was. Um, but it, it does save him to keep carting it from the store. And I'm fully aware of that. But it doesn't seem to be moving, so I'm not too worried. It, it, I'm more worried about having to touch it, because that's when it seems to start moving again. And after all, the sign did say, touch thee, and you will see.
Well, we've almost finished. Just this tiny bit left to do here. And of course we need to try and go around the pumpkin. Don't want to hit it. Um, so, yeah. I suppose I could just kick it out of the way. I've done it before. All it meant was the pumpkin followed us about, which wasn't too bad. Yeah, so... Uh, I'll move it, probably. But overall, that's pretty good. And we do need to refill with fuel, that's for sure. Because we are fairly low. for the combine fire. But it was him. It was Dennis who set fire to the combine. No, you see. Nobody is to blame. It was a blockage in the back of the combine. I hereby curse your sea drill to never work again. Never. Get away from me. No! Disconnected it. We're off home. Let's go. Ah, oh, they're everywhere. They're spawning everywhere. Yeah, squish them. Squish the things. More of them here. The same ones are definitely going to close to the road. <gasps> what the? 